Hey there, I'm gonna go over our cell transport um, graphic organizer. So when we're talking about cell transport, we know that there are two types of cell transport. If we are moving from an area of high concentration, right, so moving this way, then we know that that is called passive transport. Because again, we are moving from high to an area of low concentration. Passive transport, which requires no energy, right? It is free. There are three different types of passive transport. There is simple diffusion. Uh, this is when substances cross through the cell membrane. So they just move straight through. This is things like carbon dioxide um, or oxygen. So they're going to move from high to an area of low concentration. The second type of passive transport is facilitated diffusion. This is when substances need help to cross the cell membrane. So they are going to use a protein to, again, move from an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration. The third type of passive transport is osmosis. This is when water crosses the cell membrane. So I've got an area of high concentration to an area of low concentration, and it's just water, okay? I'm gonna switch to a different color. Let's do orange. On the opposite side, so the second type of cell transport is when I'm moving from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. This is called active transport. And again, I'm moving from low to high concentration. Now this requires energy, okay? Um, one example is when small amounts of substances can pass through proteins. So we can use protein channels to move these substances from an area of low concentration to an area of high concentration. So low to high. Um, and, ex and remember an example would be the sodium potassium pump. Another example is when we have large amounts of substances that cannot pass straight through the membrane. In this example, we have to use either endocytosis or exocytosis. With endocytosis, materials move into the cell. We can either have 